Today, we're seeing the release of two separate updates combined into one major update filled with several different changes, bug fixes, and things like that. And included inside these many changes is a whole bunch of parody, and one of which being the fact that block breaking to probably around about 200 or probably even more blocks has been completely changed. From activator rails, to ancient debris, to bee nests, to bamboo, to so many other different types of blocks. It's not really the biggest parody change in the world, but the fact that there's so many of them, it, it really adds up over time, doesn't it? But while nearly 200 small changes is pretty noteworthy, there's gotta be one that everyone's gonna be talking about, and that's the fact that now, crawling is a main staple inside the game. We've seen crouching relatively recently inside of Bedrock Edition, but now we've actually seen crawling implemented too. And, and we could use that crawling to get into the next parody change, and that's the fact that now wandering traders will sell the uh, the cherry sapling thing. Potentially, what one of these will, I, I promise, I promise. Okay, none of these have given me a cherry sapling, but I promise as of this one update, you should be able to see it now. Uh, but you know, seeing all these wandering traders, it, ju it just makes me, it just makes me want to do this. But now, speaking of this, when you actually die, this is the death screen you actually managed to see now. As we saw, it was really weird that I just like popped out of first person for some reason, which only does that like, I don't think ever. It's probably not going to be the most popular change in the world, but yeah, now it is a thing in the game that we're, we're all gonna have to get used to at some point or another. But before he decides to try out the new desk screen, why not head down to the deepest parts of the mines and actually find way more diamonds down here than before? Because supposedly there should be a whole bunch more diamonds in some of the lowest parts of Minecraft now. Meaning yes, certain seeds such as the 500 diamond seed I found is no longer gonna work, but still, the fact we have way more diamonds to find, it's still a noteworthy thing and something I don't think many people will be against. Which is great for some of the late game players, but there's also some pretty noteworthy things for early game players too. Because if we hop into settings and actually scroll down, that we can see now the fact that we have the recipe unlocking tab thing that we can actually activate here. And now every time we actually pick something up, there's going to be a little pop-up menu that comes up as we can see right there. It was such a nice idea thinking about the fact that it's going to be really annoying for some late game players. Because, yeah, if it wasn't toggleable... That kind, of, that kind of get old after a, after a little while. But if you do need that little extra bit of support and a little bit of extra guiding, then yeah, now this one update, you should have now had that little bit of extra, a little bit of extra help. There's also been dozens upon dozens of other different types of changes and fixes and things like that, but that's pretty much it for the base game. But that's not entirely it for the update, because if we scroll down in the settings, then we can see that the villager trading rebalancing is now an option in the experimental tabs. Meaning now, if you want to trade with a villager, then it's going to be extremely dependent on what type of biome villager you're actually trading with. So, say we had like, uh, this guy right here, a taiga villager, then we'll get specific types of taiga villager enchanted books. And that'll go for literally every single type of biome villager, but fortunately, it's an experimental feature. It's not an in-game main feature yet. But if you do want to at least play around with these types of things and at least see the fact that not only villagers have changed but also wandering traders have changed. Because arguably this is one of the more positive things because now you can actually get emeralds from wandering traders as well as logs and other types of things like that. So I don't know, there is, there is some good with the bad but still I mean it's it it depends on who you're talking to when talking about the main villager trading stuff. But yeah 1.20.30 is out plenty of different changes and fixes and things like that and plenty of experimental changes and things to play around with too and with that said thanks for watching and i'll see you all later